Well, this has been a comedy of errors. This video is going to be called Triumph Over Tragedy. As you guys know, in our last video, we explained that we had six piglets born the other day, four were killed, two were alive, and that was the tragedy part. The triumph part was going to be us moving our two feeder pigs who were a little older that were from our previous litter into a new area, and I was going to do it backwards. I was going to show you the end result now and then explain as I was building it, which I've already done, in time lapse so you guys could watch the end product being built from the beginning. It's going to be cinematic and wonderful. And while I still have all that footage, nothing has turned out the way I wanted. Our feeder pigs were in here, and as you can see, they've been in here too long. There's poop and mud and everything else. We had opened the other side for hot wire training. This is the hot wire training pen, and they had stayed inside the hot wire. So as you'll see during the time lapse, oh, he made this lovely chute, and it was gonna go to the new area that I have built. And I spent four or so hours <laughs> making this brand new area. So here's the part we've never done before. We have picked pigs up and moved them into wire, new wired areas, but we never tried to make a chute. So we've made a temporary chute over to the area we want them to go. So now we just need to convince them to leave the area they've been in and go on get. I don't know if the camera caught it or not, we'll see. But the piglets ran right down this thing, right into their area, and right out the other side, like the wire did not exist. Now, the good news in all of this is that the piglets have run over to the pen that their mother is currently in. Her name is Penny and she is pregnant. And she doesn't care to have them in there. But they are staying in there. <sighs> so maybe they'll just stay in there. But that means I spent four hours, as you guys will see, building this lovely other area that they have zero interest in. Don't buy these. These are the things that you can get from the company that says they supply tractors that shall not be named. And they break, these tabs snap off. They're pretty well worthless. What you wanna do is go get some pressure treated fence board, the thicker kind, and cut those into posts. Super easy, run them through a bandsaw, put a couple of these little plastic insulators on it and you're done. They last way longer and you can make roughly nine two foot posts per individual board. And those plastic pieces of junk, I think are $3 a piece or 250 or something like that. Whereas you can buy one of these boards, I think for about the same price, then you cut it into nine. And then those little insulators, I think are four bucks a bag and the bag is 25 and the screws, so you come out way, way, way ahead. They last longer, you can drive them into the ground, you can adjust them, they're brilliant. Do that instead. So as we learned in our last episode, things don't always go the way we think they should. And we have successfully hot wire trained 12, 13 piglets. And for some reason, the ones that were born on this very property have decided they are going to be untrainable. 
But we'll see if they stay in their area. So I hope you enjoy this video footage of me basically completely wasting my time this afternoon. <laughs> uh, and I hope you keep growing as you grow. Oh, I will say that occasionally when you make these out of the fence boards, there's knots in those fence boards and they'll break. Snapped off at the knot. Those are the insulators you need. But I made like 40 of them this afternoon and two broke. So ratio is way, way worth it. Set up a little production style thing and get it done. Well, thanks for joining me today here at Flannel Farms. I appreciate it in case I forgot to say so. My name is Brian and I'm glad you're here. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and keep growing as you grow. See you next time. Bye.